Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube devlog series. In today's video, I'll be talking about the progress I've made on my game in the past few days. Specifically, I'll be discussing how I added enemy health, gun damage, and started prototyping one of the maps. Let's start with enemy health. In my game, the player will encounter various enemies that they need to defeat. To make combat more interesting and challenging, I decided to give each enemy a certain amount of health. Implementing enemy health was actually pretty straightforward. I added a new health variable to each enemy's script, and then I made it so that the enemy takes damage whenever the player shoots them. Once the enemy's health reaches zero, they die and disappear from the game world. Next up is gun damage. In order to make combat feel satisfying, I wanted to make sure that the player's gun was doing a reasonable amount of damage. After some testing, I settled on a value of 10 damage per shot. Of course, this is something that I'll continue to tweak as I balance the game, but it's a good starting point. To implement gun damage, I simply added a new variable to the player's gun script called damage. Whenever the player shoots, the game checks to see if the player had hit an enemy, and if they have, the enemy takes the specified amount of damage. Finally, let's talk about the map prototype. One of the biggest challenges I've faced so far in this project is designing interesting and engaging levels. To get started, I decided to prototype one of the maps using some basic block art. My goal with this prototype was to get a sense of the scale and layout of the level as well as to start experimenting with different gameplay mechanics. For example, I placed some cover objects throughout the level to encourage players to use tactics and strategy when fighting enemies. Overall, I'm really happy with the progress I've made in the past few days. Adding enemy health and gun damage has made combat feel much more engaging, and starting work on the map prototype is a big step forward in the development of the game. As always, I appreciate your support and feedback, so please leave a comment and let me know what you think of.